Did you feel my beard? Feel my beard. You want to make money? Does it feel like? Does your beard feel like it's my beard? Scratchy. What? Yeah, if, it's what? Scratchy. No, no. <laughs> what? Greetings, gamers, and welcome back to another Laser Corn Channel video. With us today, we have Jovenshire. I'm back. We have Zach. I'm still here. And we have Amy. <laughs> Hi. I don't know what order these going up in, so don't don't say I'm still here. Yeah, this could be this the could first have been video. first. Yeah. I'm still here. You locked me in your garage. Yes. <laughs> no one will ever escape. Today, uh, we are playing a game that I really enjoyed the last time we played it, so we're playing it again. It is called Pitch Storm, where we get to pitch our very own Hollywood movies. Sandstorm, right? Sandstorm. 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 And then you will have three other people pitching a movie to Greenlight. I will be the executive first, as you can tell by this very executive tie. Oh, it's your executive tie. tie. Yes, my executive tie. Um, <laughs> You've never been in a boardroom. Yes. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> this room has boards in it somewhere. You are correct. Board games. Board games. Uh, yeah, it's a, the board game room. Board you room. Call it. <laughs> board, <laughs> the board room! room. Dibs. No, damn it! it. Oh. <laughs> yes. Start the video over. Welcome uh, to the board room. Welcome to the board room. All right, so as the executive, I take uh, three of these, and these are my note cards. I can play these at any time uh, when I'm when I'm when you guys are pitching your movies. Mm. And as I play them, I get to draw another one. You guys will have to pitch movies, and we'll start over here on the left because Jovan's done it before, and just go this way. Okay. You want but, me to go last, maybe? Uh, we'll start over here on the right, and we'll go this way because Jovan's got a bit prepared, I guess. <laughs> and when you pitch a movie, you do this: you'll draw either three character cards or three plot cards. If you draw three character cards. You draw one plot card that stays face down. Ooh. If you draw three plot cards, you draw one character card that stays face down. And how you will pitch is you'll have a minute to look at your cards when the round begins, not your face down card, mm. and you'll be like, okay, this is what I want to go with. And you'll have your script. You can see here together they form a script. Mm. And then uh, when I say go, you'll pitch your movie, you'll flip over your cards and you'll be like, okay, a video game character come to life Hunts for elves in a mysterious forest, and then you'll pitch me that movie and why I should green light your movie. Um, oh man! So oh. that is how you play the game. Very simple, right? So you pick either plot or character, whichever you prefer to have a choice. This feels like work. You three, three I feel yeah. like there's, <laughs> I, this a feels like work. work. I feel like I should. We should have a whiteboard behind no, us. No. All right, welcome to stand up, everybody. Let's go. Through, uh, <laughs> a, this is not work, and B. I own all the rights to every movie pitch. I alone have the option to make it. I learned that from Defy. Ah. I own the rights to everything as long as I say it. Oh, I'm going to give you some real gold today, then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Welcome, Defy Executive. Yes. All right. Real gold. So I am, the, I am the first executive to go. I'm drawing my... And if you get a note that you're like, I'm never going to use that, feel free to pitch it, discard it, and get a new one. All right, everyone decide whether you want to draw three plot or three character and draw up. Oh, so we don't get to hear it first. Mm. All right, character we is don't the get most- to hear what? Character is the most important thing when put coming up with put a your story. one card face I down. disagree. Really? I think the plot's more important. I think the characters have to be relatable and be great outside of the scenario for the story to be told correctly. I'm gonna actually change my answer. I think you're correct, but I think it's easier to form a plot around a character than a character. Oh, I like this the show instead. Forget the board game, let's talk shop. <laughs> uh, you guys have all created your plot? your plots here. Your, I'm sorry, your scripts. You've only looked at one of the two cards. Correct. And uh, pitch your movie, Zach. Why should I greenlight your movie? Oh, well, Go. let's see. Okay, because it's a... a, a Beguiling cult leader. Beguiling. Beguiling. I can read Ooh, that I word. don't know. This no, guy no, can't even good. read. That's okay, good. look, I'm an idea guy. I'm not a speller. We hire a script writer for that. <laughs> they must win enough money at the talent show to pay for their grandma's surgery. So you're definitely starting off this movie hating this guy. We want this to be a mm -hmm. journey. It's a right. cult leader. Typically, right off the bat, you establish them the cult leader. They're manipulative. They use people. But through the journey of finding out how to save their grandmother and pay for their surgery, they're going to realize that maybe they can't be in control of everything and they have to just let life be life and come out in the end
sexy robots. Let's add <laughs> some sexy robots. Easy, How would you easy. work sexy robots into that? They're script? the doctors. This cult leader. They're the doctors. And I forgot to mention that this is actually the cult. Uh, this is the cult. The doctors and the sexy robots. That's all part of the cult. Bringing grandma into the cult, converting her, helping her. Is grandma a sexy robot? Secretly, if you want it to be, it can be whatever you want. You're the executive. You get to make those choices. Sexy grandma those robot. Those are the kinds of choices you get to make. I'm not this isn't gonna win. No, 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 no. Who do you see playing sexy grandma robot? Oh, oh, uh, who do I see playing sexy grandma robot? Uh, Dame Judy Ditch. Oof. The only answer. Oof. I do like that. I do like that. Okay. You can see it, right. right? You can picture it. A cult leader. Imagine the D robe, but instead, robot body. D robots. I like Whoa. it. Yes. D robot. Oh, you just blew good. my mind. All right. That's, that's really going to be tough good. to beat. Amy, that's pitch really me a movie. Good. Okay, um, here I go. So the character is. Obviously, the best hacker in the world, mm -hmm. Hacker Man, okay. uh, tries to save the world from the zombie apocalypse. So what happens here in this movie, he's hacking away, and he's hacking so hard that the zombies come from the computer screens, and they infiltrate the world IRL. Very real. Wait, real how, do, how do the zombies get out of the computer? Uh, he's hacking away, and something happens with the uh, source code. Ooh. I believe is that the technical title of your movie. Source code. <laughs> I don't know enough about source code to say this couldn't happen. So proceed. Yes, absolutely. And so, uh, not only are they zombies that are trying to take over the world and turn humans into PC parts, uh, they are digital digitalized, and the only way that you can kill them is by um, wiping your hard drive. <sighs> Here's the problem. You know what I see the problem with this oh, movie? No. Zombies are slow. You know what's fast? Mm. Bees! What if the main character needed to overcome their fear of bees to save the day? Maybe some bee zombies? Some fast moving Some zombies! Some zombies! Some zombies. Excellent He's doing your job for you! Idea, thank you, Drogan. You can definitely be on the team once this Be on the team! Yeah, that's good! <laughs> uh, yeah, so what uh, zombies are actually what's coming out of the, the computer mm, and the hacker. That's scary. He's unstoppable behind a screen, but what happens when he goes outside into the real world? It's a very, uh, a very complex conflict of interest for him. So what does he do? He, he deletes the source code? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you see playing this hacker? Uh, the hacker man, I mean, I was thinking somebody with like orange hair, maybe a little oh. bit uh, above. You know, maybe a dad of two oh, sons. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, Dads have to life hack to get through the day. Loves blue. You, you and think I should be in this movie? What? I, you could be. All I right, mean, I wasn't me. thinking that, but now, now that I see it, you know. You know, I'm a studio be, executive, but I gotta tell you, my first love was always acting. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. This could okay. Be, this could so be uh, your big that really stars me. That's interesting. The perfect movie for you to green light and put yourself in. That's interesting. <laughs> yes. Why don't more executives do that? Myself? Yeah, this is. I, I like where you're going with this. All right, what do you got for me? You know, like Hollywood Joven. Yeah. You. Oh no, Hollywood Joven. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What do you got for me, Joven? Uh, well, I've got a great story for you here today. Uh -huh. uh, right, right, right. Here we go. Uh, first up is the character card was blank, so we're gonna use the old imagination cap right now, and I'm gonna uh -huh. tell you. I'm gonna tell you. It's a. It's a. It, it's an ex YouTube content creator. Found past his prime, navigating the streets of adulthood, not Not knowing. too real. Done. But you haven't even heard the plot yet. Yeah, it's okay, fine. The plot is choose the plot of your favorite movie. This is another sequel to that movie. Ah! No, no, don't use that. What okay. is this open ending? <laughs> yeah, that's, all right. that's too easy. Uh, uh, all right, but you haven't heard the plot yet. See, uh, our failed YouTuber fights to stop an evil AI from destroying humanity. Uh, and that, that, that AI is actually YT. It's YouTube. It's destroying the world and corrupting the youth. And then it's buddy TikTok shows up. And then, you know, this, this, this older out of his luck, you know, uh, it, content creator. It sounds like a legal Oh. A legal minefield, yeah. Oh. No, it, it, yeah. It's, it's not you. How are we gonna get the rights to YouTube? YouTube. Uh -huh. YouTube. And who do you see playing this uh, Passes Prime uh, YouTube creator? Someone, uh, Michael Sarah, actually. Uh, oh. mm. I'm more of an Eisenberg guy. Really? Yeah. Really? So boring. What? No, they're both Michael boring. Michael Sarah, would you rather watch The Social Network or would you rather watch yes. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World? Social Network's pretty good. Yeah. Some venture, maybe. I mean, Social. It's a better movie. All right. 
It's okay. It's a little too real for me. I don't, uh... Do you have any notes what? for me? Uh, oh, yes! I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you! <laughs> get out of my office! Uh, is there room to improve You think you time? get notes? <laughs> what if the main character has to rescue a kidnapped prince? I don't like that idea. It probably wouldn't happen in my movie. You don't like the executive's <laughs> idea? Yeah. yeah. Alright, you're out. Okay. Alright, so between you two, we got the cult leader with sexy robots. I do like sexy Dame robots. Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. But I'm in that one. Ah, I gotta give it to the yeah. uh, the best hacker in the world fight zombies. Yes! Yeah. You, you can call it Invasion of the Zombies, and I'm in it! So yeah. I get to pay myself you... money. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. That's well great. done, because you just pitched his entire nightly dream. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, recurring dream that he has. I know, I know. We've been you have for one a while. point, and you can keep that note card to represent your point. Ooh, Ooh, can I keep this note card? No. Uh, How dare you not like my idea? It's. It's creative versus executive. It's the classic battle. Would you like the executive tie? Oh, yes. Welcome to my office. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, oh, you, uh, oh, uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to see me. I know, uh, I know my, there's not a lot of credits on my IMDb yet, uh, but, um. Yeah, those sodas aren't for guests. Yeah, oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll spit it back up. So, uh, I, uh, I've seen the successes that you've had in the past. Uh, very impressive. Yeah, very all the impressive. posters are yes. currently lined up uh, behind me. <laughs> they, they, uh, it was a very intimidating walk down uh, the, the hallway, but I think, I, I think I've got something for you. I know. First off. I've been told to put less pictures of myself, but... Oh, who knew? <laughs> who knew? I would say more. I'd say more. Uh, so, so... Ask so, yes, sir! What do people love? People love love. People love to love love. People love Debatable. so much love. Yes. Debatable. Uh, and right now, if we start production soon, we can get uh, a release on uh, 4th of July weekend. Uh, no, 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 no. Valentine's weekend. You know, Nobody before you go there, yet. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a note. Oh, you're going to give but me a note. But before you give me your pitch, okay. can you just make sure, can we kill off the main characters in a really surprising twist? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. Because the main characters are a young couple on the verge of breaking up. Uh, but then you find out they both have cancer in the beginning. Both of them. Both of them have cancer. This is just a just down and out. Down and this out. This is a story. depressing movie. Yeah, no, no, exactly. I'm liking this. I'm yeah. liking this. Uh, they both have cancer. But what, what, what happens? Something well, see, has to happen. Something in does the movie. happen. In fact, in the movie, it goes back. Uh, oh, oh, wait a second. Hold on. A young couple on the verge of breaking up. They go back in time <laughs> to kill Hitler. <laughs> So, this has come up before. Yeah, <laughs> this is a uh, yeah. Um, surprisingly, I can I can go on and on about the surprising the of twist time though. Travel. What's the surprise? Because you already you already told me they're gonna die of cancer. Yeah. That's not really a twist. Well, the surprising twist How do they is just surprise is, die. It's it's like a butterfly effect, right? Are because you saying that Hitler wins? Yes. That's Next. terrible. Yes. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. bad. You're no, not. No, no, no. I heard your pitch. I heard your pitch. Up next. Uh, go, go ahead. Oh, I'm up? Yeah, Great. Go ahead. I'm, go ahead. I have something much better for you than that. Uh, uh, in my movie... What if I said Hitler has to win? Uh, no, no. No, it's still bad. Okay. A corrupt oil baron that will do anything for profit struggles to raise a family in the Wild West. Maybe he uh, got his job then. Okay. Yeah, this, what, this weirdly worked out, kind of, because now we have two in the same setting here. Um... So, do you remember? Do you remember Wild Wild West? Or Wild Wild West, or, starring Will Smith. I, I do remember There Will Be Blood, which kind of sounds like the movie you're pitching me right now. Okay, a pretty popular movie. I don't know if you've heard of it. What? Yeah. Well, this is completely different. This is this is. Uh, we're actually spinning off. Uh, we're doing shared universe with Wild Wild West. Commercial success. Wild Wild West. Remember Loveless? Bad guy, right? But what if? That's Nobody because you didn't know. Loveless. Loveless was the name of the bad guy in Wild Wild West. I know this, look it up. Play a clip of the music video. Loveless, kidnap a dime, nothing less. Don't, Will Smith will steal all my revenue. Um, but, so, you're like, he was a bad guy, right? But you go, you, you take a look at his family life. He's struggling to raise a family. It's rough out there in the Wild West. It's, dare I say it, wild. There, his son it's gets, in the name. His son gets bit by a rattlesnake. What's he gonna do? He needs that rattlesnake anti-venom. He's gotta sell oil. He's gotta sell a lot What's of oil. What's gonna bring people to the movie? Because it's definitely not this idea. So who are you gonna cast in it? We're, we're um, well, okay. So well, I was gonna use Loveless. Uh, just for the, the, that's the star. For the, yeah, well, we're gonna bring it back because it's shared universe. Nobody it's cares. It's brand recognition. You, you realize okay, that. Okay, alright, but what if we're people we, we old enough to have seen that movie in theaters don't go to the theaters to watch movies. We like recast that Jim West, we recast Will Smith. He's now. Uh, Will Smith's still popular with younger people. Yeah, yeah I can see he's that. now the bad guy though because okay. he doesn't want the oil baron to get enough oil to save. But what if we kill Will Smith in the first act? 
Well, then we save a lot of money on production because he's only there. For we the could probably act. shoot it all in one Why day. are you killing all of our characters? So, yeah. <laughs> first Why thing. am I still in this meeting? <laughs> so Will Smith uh, dies, right? He's uh, set on fire at one of these oil fields. And, uh, you know, w with no one to stop him, the oil baron is able to successfully get the rattlesnake anti-venom for his, for his son. But uh, the anti-venom then uh, morphs him into a kind of a half rattlesnake, half human monster who Loveless must then battle uh, to save his other child. But it daughter. doesn't really tie into the universe unless it's just a giant spider. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, did I say rattlesnake? Half human, half spider monster. There you go, there you go. That, yes. that makes a little bit more sense. We'll bring Schumacher in. Hence why he later builds the spider creature. Oh. Hence later, so there's a prequel. No, maybe, yes. Yes, a prequel. prequel. It's a prequel. Well, if Will Smith dies, but no, it's a sequel. It's a prequel. It's a sequel. It's a sequel. It's time it's, travel. It, it, it time hops. It goes back and forth. It's a good movie. It ties into my Remember movie. the song? When I roll into the wild. Okay, next. When I into the wild. Next, next, next. Let's keep well, it going. Let's, right, let's, right, let's, right. let's keep it going. Uh, I, I'd love to. Could, could you, the two of you go get some water? Yeah, yeah. I waited yeah, very patiently. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for having me here today. I'm I, I really just excited. give me your okay. give me your, Yep, 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 of course. Uh, so here we go on the hot, hot subject of Will Smith. We have a genie trapped in a. <laughs> that movie magic lost us a lot of money. Uh, how <laughs> dare you bring that up? It lost us so much <laughs> money. I'm aware. Apologies on the uh, painful reminder. But there's good news to this because that genie becomes a vigilante to rid their city of crime. Okay, keep going. All keep right, going. Here we go. Give me a little bit more. Give me a little bit more. We're in. So a vigilante genie. genie. I all ideas. Oh, okay. You gotta love Pitched it. Okay, so this is how it happens. There's uh, an alley rat who uh, stumbles upon the magic lamp, mm -hmm. and uh, he rub a dub dubs his body bum to oh. the lamp, and uh, the genie pops out, no longer trapped. And uh, I know mm. genies are known to be a little mischievous at times, but that's that, that's okay. Uh, because what happens is there is a brotherhood and a bromance between the alley rat and the genie. And uh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he's on his way to uh, romance a princess. Could Her name could be like Sasmin. Is the something? alley rat an actual rat? You know what, that's a great I, idea. I'm really into could this be, idea. Why be. don't we also make it a hip hop musical just like Hamilton? Because everybody loves Hamilton. You know what? I I do love Hamilton and I love hip hop and it is so, so popular that now I'm thinking as far as casting goes. We obviously know what's best for hip hop culture. Yes, yeah. the three of us here at this yeah. table. Uh, we basically are, are hip hop. Yeah. Kick up ain't got nothing on me. Ah! Right, uh, my yes. time. Hmm? Yes, yeah, so I, I don't know why I'm even trying to educate up get all of you guys on this. You know very Lin -Manuel well. Lin-Manuel was very clearly the best part of Hamilton, so can we just put him in all I of was it? thinking he could either be the genie, or he could be the alley rat dressed as a furry. What do you guys furries think? Are furries are hot right now. Yeah, furries are pretty sure hot right are, now. and I've heard why am I hoping? that uh, I don't know. They, they make I don't know. a lot of money. So uh, they like spending money on seeing representation of the furry kind in How do you movies. see this movie ending? Uh, obviously a bombastic, uh, very high budget, uh, showtime musical classic, uh, reminiscent of Hamilton, but in the theme of, uh, you know, Bollywood, a little bit. You, we you know? do need overseas market. That is mm -hmm. pretty much a must mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So we've got furries, we've got Hamilton, mm -hmm. hip-hop, mm -hmm. we've got the market. We might have to market. check with the Chinese market to see if furries Will Smith are okay. Is huge. I think they're okay, as long as it's not gay furries. Great, so I've heard all of your pitches and uh, none of these movies are going to be made, but um, if I had to choose any of you to make- Why do you have to green light one of these? If I have to You're up against the wall to here. at least your produce to my movie. boss something of value, I, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go with a Vigilante Genie. Vigilante Genie Starring is pretty cool. Miranda. Yeah. As the That's also Alley a musical. Rat. Yeah. Cause yeah. you know, when you say all those things together, you realize there's a hit there. <laughs> yeah, listen, marketing wins again. You guys keep Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. How is this? Amy dominating this game? <laughs> I was not expecting Part of the cards. Well, because our ideas are bad. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the cards. That does seem to be what's going on. Oh all right, um, pass the executive tie over to Amy. I have good ideas. Those who are not the executives choose whether to draw three characters or three plots. 
Oh my god, she has an axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boardroom in session. Oh, Who would you like to start with? Yeah, boardroom's in session. Uh, secretary, can you please bring in a Mr. Uh, is it laser? Corn? Yeah, laser corn. Oh, okay. I wasn't <laughs> sure if it was uh, yeah, uh, meeting corn. over. <laughs> no, 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 no. Although I'm cool and hip, all the kids today don't have real names. Uh, thank you for seeing me mm -hmm. today. I've got something great for you. Uh, what we're going to have is a child uh, beauty pageant queen. A child beauty pageant queen who invents a gadget that will change the world. And uh, for the child beauty pageant queen, uh, you're already thinking who we're going to cast. Well, straight from the pages of real life, we're gonna cast Honey Boo Boo Child. She's not doing up, she's not up to anything. And she invents a gadget. Is she still a child? She's not a child. What? <laughs> Wait, well, like we'll, we'll, we'll de-age her with special effects. Uh, okay. And she invents, <laughs> a, she invents a gadget that will change the world. And what she invents is a, uh, is uh, a beauty pageant eraser. So she erases all beauty pageants from reality. Because I could tell you didn't like beauty pageants when I said beauty pageant, you right. and yeah, you did that teeth thing. Ah, uh, this... but you know what I do love? Mm -hmm. Not a fan of beauty pageants, but I am a huge fan of action and horror. So you know what else? Let's see what this could do if we wanted to throw it into the foreign market for uh, action and horror. Yeah, yeah. So the reason she needs to erase all beauty pageants is because beauty pageants are actually, uh, a, they're a trap. They're sort of a feeding ground for vampires. They oh, lure okay. all the young blood into one place. Mm. And then it's kind of a metaphor for all the like creepy pedophiles that hang out at beauty pageants. Topical but they're good. literal you vampires in this, good. trying to mm. suck the blood uh, from, from, stop it. I talk with my hands, you sit there. Suck the blood from these young beauty pageant contestants. And, it sounds really political. Uh, and the way the invention, tricky. the invention that she invents, I said it was a beauty pageant eraser. Yeah. And how it erases beauty pageants is it is a uh, it is a semi-automatic steak launcher that kills the vampires organizing these beauty pageants, thus ending the beauty pageants for all times by launching steaks directly into their hearts, starring Honey Boo Boo Child and maybe as the the head vampire Bill. Nicolas Cage. Ooh, yeah. I love Nicholas Cage. So how much how much money says $75 billion, you think, to make this one? Well, I just, you, you, the budget's your job, but let's just green like this and let's go. I don't think you need to hear from these two. Uh, you know what? That was a really compelling argument and you, you got me at Nicholas Cage. He is one of my villains. With that kind of budget though, villains. that sounds like a category. Well, she decides the budget. That is true. She you know decides what? the let's budget. See, that's enough to make like three, four, 10, 20 movies? Let's I mean, <laughs> suckier movies, yeah. yeah movies you, that aren't as good. Right, but let's hear what the other folks All right, in, I mean, uh, I think it's a waste of time. Say. I think it's a waste of time, but okay, we can hear their movies. All right. Uh, well, my idea is that we set this movie outside of a fruit market, and we meet our star, a pineapple with a heart of gold. <laughs> but the plot of this movie... Have you ever eaten a pineapple heart? They're quite inedible. With a heart of gold. You're uh, taking a little too literally, okay? This pineapple represents all of I'm the sorry, good sorry. in all of us. Who's on the race to stop a detonation of a biological weapon in New York City. This is a cross-country, on-the-road movie. Gonna find a couple friends. Maybe a tomato. Maybe a carrot. Who Are we whatever. seeing this in, like, the vein of Pixar? Who voices these fruits that we're gonna be needing in the movie? Oh, who vo- well, no, 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 these are actual you fruits. We're gonna genetically fruits. modify them to star in the film for free. Opposite, for free? opposite Nicolas like Cage. Like what? No, 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 no! I love Nicolas Cage is already Cage. attached to my picture! I this is not- Don't do it! Cage. He has an exclusivity agreement with me. No, 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 see, this is, is not Academy- true? This is yes. not Academy Award winner Nicolas Cage. This is Jiu Jitsu Nicolas Cage. Okay? Oh. He's coming in to do this. I mean, on the bottom mm. dollar. Now, this is this is like a Blumhouse opportunity for you. Give us $100,000, we're going to make you 100 million. That's it? Oh my gosh. I can but make hey, it for 100000 I heard Fruit that Fruit to Talks, it's... easy to make. Nicolas Cage, jujutsu level. Just have him say a couple lines, put on a wig, he'll do a couple backflips, or a stun <gasps> double wheel, obviously. You know what but... I love more than Nicolas Cage? More than jujitsu, Nicolas Cage? I'm here for it. Viking King. Nicholas Perfect. Cage, Jiu Perfect. Jitsu. What if all the characters were Vikings? Amazing, you just put a little hat on the pineapple. Mm. Little hat on the pineapple, on the mm. tomato. We'll give it a little shield. Little yeah, tomato rolling along with a little Norse, shield. Norse lore into the whole story. So how are you gonna do that? Thors. You just Thors. add Thors. You bring in all the Thors. There's only all one Thor. Thors. 
all the Thors. God tier Thor. I don't know. All different timelines, different Thors. 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 You can bring in all the Thors. Thors. What about like an avocado Thor? Avocado Thor is a genius idea. I am I wish I had thought of that, but that's mm. your idea. I don't want to take it from you. Mm. Avocado Thors. You think it'll fit in the budget? Banana Thors? No, bananas are definitely the villains of this story. Bananas yeah. are definitely the villains of this story. Or what about like Thor? What's Paris? that? Oh, Nicolas Cage. Hey, what's up? We were just talking about you. Oh, you don't want to do a movie about a dumb pineapple? No, you think that's a There's terrible no idea? Pineapple. That's a terrible There's idea. There's no one on this okay, too. Okay. The Vampire, 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 Vampire Beauty Pageant movie is way better. I agree, I agree with you. <laughs> that's so weird that you called just now. Yeah, act. He did We're a absolutely five. gonna All do right, lunch. If you both don't stop talking, I'm gonna okay. ask both your ideas. He so, did a five. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have answered if it wasn't Nicolas Cage. He did That's a five fair. I would always answer. <laughs> Knockoff movie. All right. I know that he's cool with this. He's not trapped in here with them. We are trapped in here with him. That's true. All right. That's true. All right. You know what? If there's Nicolas Cage in your movie, you could be a top runner too. I'm just gonna throw uh, no. that well, out there. Actually, you know, <laughs> my mom knows knows Nick. Really? I, we can actually probably you call make it happen. Nick? Yes. Uh, no. uh, That's amazing. Why? Nick and I have wow. gone to a lot of different barbecues. Liars. Um, uh, this is a this is an idea for a movie I came up uh, I came up with while I was at USC. Uh, since graduating from USC, I mean, okay. my buddies have kind of put our brains together. Okay. All of us went to USC. It was really amazing. You went to experience UCLA, for right? No, I didn't go to college. Yeah, uh, yeah well, at, at USC, um, where I got my education and my film degree, uh, I, I created this story, which has a friendly talking dinosaur uh, who falls for a dangerous femme fatale. Uh, so it's, it's a lot like, you know, it's like the brilliance of Shrek, but like now done with dinosaurs because it's something for the kids, but something for the adults. Now at USC, I had a lot of experience talking to femme fatales. Um, because I was I, I was hot. I'm ah. hot, right? I went to USC. Uh, my my parents have introduced me. They've had a lot of great uh, parties. I've met a lot of femme fatales and dinosaurs actually at these parties. Real things, real things. If you've gone to USC, you know that the it, dinosaurs are real. It says here that he's, he never actually graduated. No, 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 oh, no, no, really? no. That, that's a fake LinkedIn account. That's a fake LinkedIn account. Don't look at that. <laughs> um, uh, but in this in this movie, uh, you have uh, you know a, a dinosaur. It's just something like uh, something friendly, like yeah. a, like a triceratops. But mm. but you know falls for a dinosaur that's a femme fatale, so it's actually a meat eater, you know? We've got a, 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 a Tina the T-Rex, and, and they are on an adventure together, uh, trying to find love in, in, a, in a Jurassic place. I love that unrequited love. You've got the herbivore, and you've got the T-Rex, who is, you know, trying not to devour mm -hmm, the one mm -hmm, that they love, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what we need? We need something real, but we don't want it to be a downer. Uh -huh. Let's add. I did some, a lot of downers when I was at USC. <laughs> let's add some cancer to that. Oh, cancer! Without Jesus. it being too dark. Like, I don't want a tearjerker, but I think we need to have a realistic narrative. Yeah, dinosaurs, people don't dinosaurs. know this. I learned this while going to USC. Dinosaurs also got cancer. And really? uh, it's why the T Rex can't eat the Triceratops because uh, she doesn't want to get the cancer Is that from how that works? the Triceratops. Yeah, have you ever eaten someone with cancer? At USC, I learned right. about this case study where someone got cancer from eating another person who had cancer. Okay. You learned a lot at USC. This movie sounds like a real downer. No one it, wants it, to see a cancer yeah, source, right? Like I said, I'm not feeling cancer. Like my, yeah. my dad. Depressed. Alone right now. Oh, oh, so. then you gave me the wrong note. Now I'm Well, no, 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 that note says, says, don't make it a big deal. Oh, don't make it a big deal. Oh, well, <laughs> you know. Wow, uh, you took the note badly, huh? Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, if you don't take my movie, no, it, my daddy writes the, the, the paychecks for this place. If you like your job, you might have to go with my idea. Well, that's unfortunate, though. Not once did you mention casting Nicolas Cage. So I think you're mm. out. Mm. I think you're out. Uh, we've got. We've got, We've got genetically modified fruit, which not only is good for the movie, but maybe good for humankind. But because uh, don't need actors We've got anymore. pageant queens. Nick, don't love pageants, but Nick I love, it. Queen. love That's why we're taking horror. down the pageants. Remember, the pageants are run that's by vampires. Right. That's right, that's right. Ooh, this is going to be a hard one. Avocado hard Vikings. One. Ooh, yeah. How much do you like your job? I think I'll go ah. with the... Uh, what was his name? Oh, yeah, that's right. Laser Queen. Woo! Yes. You won't regret this. My Nick is in. Yep. will not allow this. $75 million. Dollars. Your father will be signing the check to Laser Corp. Oh. Woo! Let's all go to the lobby. 
Let's all go to the lobby. Oh. Tell daddy, give me that money, daddy. Where's the money, daddy? I'm going to get grounded again. <laughs> How insider baseball is it to say USC every time? I'm, this is fun. I, don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't get the reference. So Wait, what? It's insider enough. I'm like, USC has ties to... No, US, like if you go to USC, they never stop talking about how they went to USC. It's just constant. You've never been on a set where everyone's like, oh, what year did you graduate? And you're like, I came from out of state. And they're like, get off my set. <laughs> no. Yeah, and also, did any of us go to USC? No. I didn't go to USC. Awesome. I went to Ohio My University. wife has a master's degree from there, and she tells me about it. <laughs> <laughs> we drank heavily. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. I think it's time to go back to Oh, no, it's Hollywood Joven! Oh, the bit! Oh, the bit! Oh, the bit's here! No, no, Ryan I Baby, know. Ryan Baby, no, I got you. You oh, think, boy. you think uh, the the D in Ryan, Ryan Reynolds spell means Deadpool? No. If you want to do this movie, if you want to make that money, you gotta go full Don, baby. Yeah, that's what they want to see. Show them the meat stick. You can trust what? me. Meat you stick. can show, trust me. Yes, I will not I'm pay you <laughs> any money, and you will never work in this city again unless you give me that nine inches of man sausage on the goddamn film screen. Is this gonna be demonetized? That's better. I don't All know. Right. Can you say I'll see you in the pecker on set tomorrow. <laughs> Probably. All right. Oh, you can't oh, say penis, but so you Hello. can say man. We're just talking to Ryan Reynolds. You can't speak to Whew. Mr. Reynolds that way. You're right now, it really kind of brought me down. I'm just not in the mood for life right now. I need a little pick me up. Come on, let's make a goddamn movie. I'm a. Uh, you want this job? Yeah. Look, yeah. Okay, it's a night <laughs> sworn to protect their kingdom. It's oh. a night. People love night movies. Nice. Uh -huh. Like a knight's tale. Oh, remember? Oh, Heath Ledger. Uh, and, and they'll do whatever it takes to become a world famous chef. Whatever it takes? Whatever it takes. Will they do? They leave whatever Knight them to takes? go do the chef school. Yeah? Yeah, stop yelling. Okay. Uh, whatever it takes to go to chef school. You got knights? Yeah. Who want to cook? To protect their oh, kingdom. Oh, it's not good enough. It's yeah, not good enough. Yeah, because you got you to gotta win the chef competition. I need you to read my f***ing mind to make this work. Whatever my note is, I need you to tell me what the note is. What is the note that I'm thinking but, of for uh, you? But, what if this was set in a dystopian? Future where kids fight to the death on a reality show. You knew. Oh! And that's why they're all right. Yes! Oh, how much money are we gonna make? How uh, much money are we gonna make? How much money do you want? Oh, daddy needs a lot of power. Just say the number. Two billion. We're gonna make two billion dollars. Oh, that feels like a lie, but it makes me so hard! Alright, that's good. Can I what is the name that's of this game? Uh, whatever uh, he wants it to be. No, I, I, I want you to feed it to me. Feed it to me like some strawberries and wine. Uh, it's called strawberries and wine. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense. But it's a I'm chef. It's a nice yeah. chef. Right a nice chef. Strawberries and wine. The movie for uh, that's kids. That's good. That's good. That's good. It, it, it can be a little bit better though. It can, it can be a little bit better. I just be... went out of this room. <laughs> yeah. We all did. <laughs> it's just, yep. Oh, it's getting better. Is am I done pitching? You're done. You're done. Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, great. <laughs> Great idea for you, sir. Uh, okay, yeah. So if you if you want, maybe this will help your headache. Right, well, uh, so I have an idea. Uh -huh. A tribe of cavemen uh -huh. hunting for food. So we've got a tribe of cavemen uh -huh. hunting uh -huh. for food. Cavemen okay, hunting for food. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, as uh -huh. they are exploring uh -huh. a dangerous alien yes. uh, planet. So the cavemen uh, accidentally reinvent the wheel to no. be a space. No, these cavemen are attacking vessel. me. They're attacking me. I can Ooh. see they're attacking okay, me. Yep. I'm giving you a note right now. I just yeah, need to just take my notes. Take my notes. I don't want to be attacked that's right, right now. That's right. That's right. What if all of this was actually taking place in a dream? Yes. That's oh, how it's it a dream. Works. That's how it oh, works. Oh, it's a dream. This isn't real. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's all a dream. It's fine. It You're not a worm but, man. But the, You're no, a human. I right? am a human. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, a. But also, know, it's a dream uh, with less touching. So what does your beard feel like? Does you feel my beard? Feel my beard. You want to make money? Does it feel like? Does your beard feel like it's my beard? Scratchy. What if? Yeah, what, no, no. <laughs> what if this was a dream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyways, this what if this is a dream? Idea. This is a dream. You, yeah. you oh, could. It's such a so dream. You can. You can pick up that phone and green light all our movies. I can. What's the name of this dream? What's the name of the movie? Uh, I, um, uh, uh, Lost Cavemen in My Dreams. It's more of an art film. Oh, uh, it's so like it what Franco would it. do. It doesn't need a uh, Franco. at all, yeah. Uh, hey, Franco. Yeah, let's take him down. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, do you like my mustache? I, yeah, I think it's great, sir. Oh, we got a little something. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. All right, I, I got, another, more. I I got more. a movie for you. Okay, maybe you've done enough though. No. But you, I haven't done enough. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Give me an idea. Give me an idea. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. cave 
caveman so hot right now. A caveman so recently brought back to life. This is way different. You than also her. have a caveman. It's way different. Than Why are you so many cavemen? This this guy's been brought back to life. Here's a so note. Take he's, okay. Take my note with the caveman. What if we set the story on the first oh, human colony? Hot in here. Okay, so yeah, so they they brought this caveman from Earth all the way to Mars. He's not just in the future. He's on a totally different planet, and he is held hostage. At a, are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Get his wallet. Yeah, get his phone. Get his phone. Get his phone. Get his phone. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just imagine you can still hear me. His heart probably. Okay, he's still got a, he's still got a pulse, so he's, he's in there somewhere. I can't be here. I'm on probation right now. What? So are I'm, you really? I'm, like, yeah, I'm actually, just... my mom's waiting out in the car. But, so... but I gotta finish pitching my movie. <laughs> oh, he's back. Uh, he's yeah. back. Green light them all. Everyone gets a movie. But you didn't hear the plot. Green lighted. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's it. We did it. Do we want it? Yeah, I guess we all win. So I'll take a point. Yeah, okay, great. Like yeah, I know. It feels like a loss. It feels we like all a loss. take a point. But in my movie, which I didn't get to finish saying, the caveman is held hostage in a karaoke bar run by mobsters, and he's forced to sing karaoke. He's rubbing himself. All right. But it's called Caveman Karaoke. It's got the alliteration in there. It's great. Um, but he wins. He beats the mobsters. Yeah. He hits them over the head with like a, some Stone Age tools, maybe a, a crude axe. I don't think he's listening anymore. No. I, but There's we all not got, a lot of give to this table. We all got. We I all think got I found the metal bar <laughs> underneath on that hit. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So it's called Caveman Karaoke, and I think it's really great. I don't think you should fund them. I think you should give me the budget. And we lost them again. We lost them again. I think uh, I think that's where we'll end it. Uh, Hollywood Joven is dead. This character will not be returning because he's died forever. Because I got canceled. I mean, this was a little got... too real, but also I think I won. You did. Did you win? But she did. Did any of us win? Oh yeah, she won. I came in second. You lose. I, I lose. And he mega loses. I lose for being here. Yeah. 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 Thank you all for watching. Please check these guys out. Links in the description. Joven Cher, Zach, Amy, thank you so much. I thought this was a kid's channel. This is... What? What gave you that idea? I don't know. because oh, I have kids. I have kids. No, I, I, don't, like, let, I don't let them watch this channel. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Bye! Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the last time we played Pitch Storm, go ahead and click over here. And if you want to see what YouTube thinks is best for you, go ahead and click over here, I guess. Uh, oh, and don't forget to subscribe and... Hit like and everything. Yeah, that's it. Bye.